my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adele if you are new and today I'm doing a six month braces update. I have officially had my braces for six months. It doesn't even feel that long, but here we are. Just to give a brief summary of like my problems and then my treatment because I know a lot of the people who watch my braces videos are not like usual um, viewers of my channel. I am 20 years old. I'll actually be 21 in about two weeks. I had a little bit of crowding, but my deep overbite was my biggest issue with my teeth. I had a pretty deep overbite and overjet. My top teeth completely covered my bottom teeth. I had a pretty bad profile, weak chin, weak jaw, stuff like that. But I have now had my braces for six months. First things first, I got my bite plate removed. When I first got my braces, I also got a bite plate cemented onto the roof of my mouth to help with my bite. Gave me a pretty wicked lisp, but thankfully it is gone now. I got it off at my last orthodontist appointment at the end of June. Oh, also, when I first got my braces, I had the braces and the bite plate, and then they gave me my estimated, like, treatment time was 15 to 18 months. So, bite plate is out. I had it for about five months in total, and it completely changed my jaw shape so much. My bite is so much better now. My top teeth do not cover my bottom teeth anymore. I have a nice bite. I have power chains on the top uh, like six and the bottom six. I did have them on the top in my last update but I also have them on the bottom now just to kind of keep them in place. I am getting a few gaps here and there just because of it but that is to be expected and I know that they'll fix it. I also got brackets added to the bottom, very back molars on the bottom. And my orthodontist said that this is supposed to help open up my bite more. So we're still working on the bite. Um, although now we're kind of like in the finishing stages of working on the bite because the bite plate was the main thing that was supposed to help with my bite. We're working on the vertical alignment of my teeth or my bite first and then we'll move on to the horizontal one which basically means first we're going to just make sure that my bite is how it's supposed to be. Like my molars are where they're supposed to be and everything is like lined up vertically and then we'll work on where they're supposed to be horizontally in relation to each other in the back and like making sure that they're like lined up like in between each one because mine used to be and kind of still are since we're still working on that um, like directly on top of each other which is not how they're supposed to be. My braces have also been cutting up my mouth like crazy recently. I don't know why but it feels like it has gotten a lot worse. I didn't even use wax all that much near the beginning like the first five months or so and it kind of feels like after this last adjustment it it's just tearing me apart on the inside. My cheeks are completely cut up. Especially eh, this one in the very back. It hurts so bad. Also, as you can tell, I have pink right now. Uh, I believe in the last update I had teal and then after teal I got like a dark navy blue and now I'm back in pink. I think next I might get purple but I don't really know because apparently that makes your teeth look a little yellower and I don't really want that. And I kind of feel it with this one. I kind of feel like the pink makes my teeth look a little yellower than they are so we'll see about the purple maybe uh, if I don't go with purple I will probably go back to silver or back to teal I swear by teal oh my goodness teal is so nice I recommend teal to anybody it does suck though because my orthodontist only has like 12 colors like everyone always has all these cool colors and all this stuff and like I have the most very basic like colors to choose from. So here I'm gonna put some pictures up so you can kind of see a before and after and see how my bite has progressed throughout this process. You can see huge changes in my bite. My teeth have come together so nicely and we are still working on like opening it up and just making sure things are where they need to be so we can move on to like the rest of my treatment but my teeth have shifted so much my bite looks so nice now i'm super happy about it but overall i am just really happy with the progress that my teeth have made and i'm excited to keep it going my orthodontist originally gave me an estimate of 15 to 18 months which means i would probably get them off around may to july of next year 2020 but uh, every time I've gone in, he says that my teeth are moving so fast, my bite has progressed so quickly, like a lot faster than he expected. So I'm just really hoping that that means my whole 
treatment time will be reduced a little bit, maybe spring of next year, but we'll see. I can hope. I am seeing a little bit of progress with my side profile. I, I didn't, I hated my side profile my whole entire life with this, but I think I've noticed some positive changes in my profile. I know you can't tell, I'm not gonna put up like a before or anything cause my treatment is still going on, but I do think like it's helped a little bit, maybe. I don't know, but I'm happy with it. Also just to answer like uh, a few frequently asked questions that I get a lot from you guys, like either in comments on these videos or I'll have people message me on Instagram just to answer some of those questions that I have found to get a lot. The first one being, did I have to get jaw surgery? No, I did not, but that was an option near the beginning that was on the table. Basically, my orthodontist said that if it is a skeletal problem, that I'll probably need jaw surgery and braces. And if it's just a dental problem, that I'll probably only need the braces. Skeletal meaning like, something is wrong with the actual like jaw bone and, and chin and stuff like that basically just through talking with my orthodontist and and our looking at things and just us talking we decided that the best treatment for me would just be braces although we were talking about surgery at the beginning but just taking into account you know all sorts of things financial wise and just my situation we did decide to just go with the braces and the bite plate to help with that uh that's going to be an individual thing talk to your orthodontist i am not an expert i do have a very small chin like a very small and weak chin and jaw but it wasn't like directly related to my bite if that makes sense basically we just decided that it would be better just to reposition my teeth and like fix the actual bite instead of down here. Another question I get is if I had my wisdom teeth removed uh, before I got braces, like because of this, because I guess some like orthodontists or some like treatment uh, need that to like, you have to remove your wisdom teeth first or something. I don't really know. I did get my wisdom teeth removed before I got braces, but it was like months before we even made like an appointment to get this whole thing started. I simply got my wisdom teeth removed because they started coming in and they were causing me pain. And I also removed an extra tooth. It was like an adult tooth. That's a whole nother thing. So yes, I did get them removed beforehand, but it wasn't anything to really do with the braces. But I have heard that you need to get them removed beforehand if you can, just so it doesn't like mess up the spacing or anything like that. I don't know. Again, not an expert. Talk to your orthodontist. Anyway, so I think that is all I have to say in this little six month update. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.